What is going on, garden fans? Welcome back to the Permaculture Homestead. I want to give you a brief update on the front yard food forest, just because we're coming into summer and it's looking really good. And I got some pretty decent lighting right now. Um, the elderberry patch is flowering profusely this year. These are the biggest pans of flowers I've seen ever. And they're starting to flower out as we come into the first month of summer. Pineapple guava are also flowering profusely. You see the mint growing up through this plant here. And mint is the ground cover in this small garden box up front. But I've got this nice small shrub stacked with something taller in the back, some elderberry. It's been maintained somewhat. We mow the lawn around it. And it's a nice little uh, hedgerow here. Um, hedgerow up at the front of the house. Blackberries, we still harvesting. Lots of blackberries. And I'm gonna eventually do a breakdown video of, you know, how we maintain this. It's generally pretty simple. We let the new vines grow up and then just kind of fold them over. You just stick them over. I mean, these are pretty thorny blackberries. And from a distance, you can't really tell that there's blackberries growing on there. But if you zoom in and really look closer, you're going to find a lot of food in that boxwood. So we've harvested a lot of blackberries, given out quite a few pounds. What I do like is the stacked nature of the four, you know, anchor species here. It's got the sweet gem apricot in the front. It's got a passion fruit and oregano ground cover. Next stacked plant up is a pomegranate. Red flowers coming on right now. Here again, flowering profusely. These are the most flowers I've ever seen on this pomegranate here. Nice bright, deep red. Goes well with the elderberry behind it. Big white panhead lace flowers. And here again, I'm trying to do this thing in some sort of stacked nature. The tallest plant is in the back with the elderberry. It stacks down to a little Eliagnus here in between as just nitrogen fixation. That's going to be a sacrifice plant. Eventually that nitrogen fixing shrub there is going to be gone. It's a feeder plant right now. Next step down is the pomegranate. And believe it or not, the next step down is probably going to be the sweet gem apricot. I don't think it's going to get much taller. It's a dwarf. I'm really just going to let it get uh, filled out. It's just going to fill out a little bit more, get a little bit thicker. So I've landscaped with edible plants. I'm going to be getting an edible yield. I'm, I'm, I'm getting yields right now. And I'm growing food in a pretty inconspicuous way. You can grow food anywhere. On a balcony. I've seen balcony gardens. Um, just just got to think outside the box a little bit. Uh, appreciate y'all watching this quick update here. Please, please, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps us out. Give us a like. Please share. Please subscribe. And do please hit the notification bell because YouTube's not going to let you know when I'm uploading these awesome videos. Love y'all. God bless.